guys today on mechanic mondays we're getting the ugliest fox body mustang <laughs> you've ever seen Today on the Stony Ridge Farm, it's car mayhem. It's car good times. We're gonna go over to a buddy of mine's house who listed his Fox Body Mustang for sale and we're gonna buy it. Now, this is not a nice Fox Body Mustang, guys. We're gonna have some fun with this. This is the crustiest Fox Body Mustang you've probably ever seen. It's an 84. This guy that I'm buying it from, his name is Spencer and he is basically an automotive guru. He's an automotive historian, especially when it comes to the those Fox Body Mustangs. So this is the Mustang that folks wanted when I was in high school, and we're gonna go buy the nastiest, roadkilly looking, raunchy Fox Body Mustang. Mm -mm. Raptor. Well guys, welcome to the Stony Ridge Farm Channel. If this is your first time here, please pound that like button, jump in, consider subscribing to the channel. I'd love to have you back here. We're gonna shed a little bit of light on the subject. So I'm in my 2017 Ford Raptor. This is the six cylinder 3.5 liter twin turbo Ford Raptor. I think it's rated at about 450 horsepower. It's a beast, it's a fun truck. However, it's not as fun as this old turd of a Mustang we're gonna go take a look at today. So, uh, man, I want to bring a little more automotive content along with the rural lifestyle content that I produce here on the farm. So this is just part of the channel. Uh, since I started the channel, we've had, what, an 87 stepside Chevy, a 66 stepside Chevy, a C10 Swamp Donkey pickup, four wheel drive, a Buick Grand National Super Sport 454 pickup. We've been to SEMA, we've been all over. So automotive content is part of the channel, guys. You're gonna love this crusty Mustang and you're gonna love the deal I'm gonna get on it too. It is not a 5.0. Oh yeah, I see it sitting there. We're gonna show you some of his other project cars. He's got a lot of stuff going on, guys. We're actually parked right here in the yard. That is it. Oh, crusty, crusty. I can't wait. All right, guys, this is her in all her glory. I don't know, it's not that ugly, but it's pretty doggone ugly. <laughs> so, you know, this is the less desirable front clip on this Mustang. Again, this is a 1984 model. I like it. I think it's got character. I think it's it's got it's got what it takes. It's got pizzazz. <laughs> now, if you looked at this car and you saw it pull up, you would think for sure it's got the pony wheels. You'd think for sure this is a 5.0 Mustang. Well, it's not a 5.0. This is a 2.3 four-cylinder four-speed car, which is even less desirable, which makes it even more fun for us to mod out. So my thought process here is calling this thing the Coyote ugly Mustang and putting a coyote engine swap in this critter. So who knows? We got the mega shop going up. This could be a future project here for the mega shop, or it could be like Spencer and be a long forgotten project. Stick around the end of the video. We're going to show you what's under that cover. Smokey and the Bandit Trans Am. This old international truck and the coolest C10 work body truck you've ever seen. So it's a 71, 71, nice. So without further ado, we're gonna get inside Coyote Ugly. <laughs> Let's first ask Spencer a few questions, man. Come on, don't What's be- up, guys? <laughs> uh, this, is your, uh, this isn't your debut. He's been on the channel before. Yep. This is my neighbor, Spencer, and Spence? Spencer? Spencer, yep, yep. He's a boat mechanic slash backyard shade tree mechanic. Yeah, I just tinker with yeah. stuff. Uh, so tell me about uh, this crusty critter right here. What we got? Uh, it's just been sitting amongst all my many other projects. <laughs> uh, I bought a car, I think I was like, mm, I don't know, 18. I saw it and I loved it. 83, 84 front clip. Like he said, not many people like them. Yeah. I dig them. I dig it too. I think it, it that has more style 
with the dual headlights than the regular uh, Mustang. Yeah. And you've got another Fox body over here, right? Yeah, I've got an 89 coupe that was my first car. Oh, we're gonna look at that in a minute too. Yep, so. and it's actually getting a Coyote swap as well, so. Nice. Well, let's get inside here. We're gonna fire this critter up a little bit, guys, and see if she'll move on her own power. I have not moved this thing yet. You said you could drive it on the road, but not very far. I wouldn't drive it very, it hasn't <laughs> been on the road in quite some time. <laughs> And it's probably been sitting since 2008 or nine, if I had to guess. So it's a one owner car. It, it, yes, until I bought it, it was wow. a one owner car. Whoa, we got a yep. unicorn on our hands. <laughs> Let's fire it up. All right, here we go. Now, <laughs> the steering column leaves something to be desired for sure. Yeah, Craco tape deck, nice. Start it right up, man. Oh, reverse is over there. Well, that's interesting. Completely out of fuel. <laughs> um, but we've got oil pressure. Oil pressure gauge is coming on up. Yeah, nice. If it doesn't run out of gas, I think we'll be in good shape. Horn relay works, but horn does not. Um, this is an air-conditioned car. Is this an air-conditioned car? Does the AC work? Oh, do you hear those My rat nest in there? <laughs> kind of purrs like a kitten, man. Oh, yeah. 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 Something's making a funny noise under the hood, though. Vacuum leak. All right. So we have the wheel of death. Do not lean in and touch that, right? been repainted uh, kind of maybe a jack leg repaint on there not a big deal uh, let me go ahead and cut my hand off here and pull this GoPro out <laughs> this is a new set of Holly my father we switched back and forth on this car a few times because we we both like projects yeah but he put that carburetor on right around a little over a year ago because it was actually gonna be my daily driver in between buying a house just something we had already, didn't have to put a lot of money in. Yeah. Well, let's put the hood down here and take her for a little spin around the yard. This is aftermarket. This is style. That is, that's something else right there. It's custom. I don't know what that used to go on or what it was designed to go on, but whatever it was designed to go on, it's just right for that Mustang. It was, uh, I think it was supposed to be like an 82 GT hood scoop, but. <laughs> That's why it looks like a GT, I guess. That's... It definitely helps it. This is rare, right? Yeah, the, the, the back uh, rear louvers. Yeah, so that's a rare deal. You can't find those anywhere. Not a dealer installed set. There, There's plenty of aftermarket repops, but nothing that's kind of period correct quite like this jacket. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a pimp jacket oh, right yeah. there. Oh, yeah, got the <laughs> Ford Racer back. It's, it's the whole nine. Nice. And this is uh, the three-piece rear spoiler. Now, later on, they came out with a one piece that that went all the way across the back so and this opens up i assume yeah, yeah it's probably yeah. halfway open right now the louvers are cool i like the louvers guys tell me what you think about this car man i like it i think it's just the right amount of ugly and just the right amount of sexy maiden voyage maybe <laughs> all right hope we don't run out of gas Oh, this sunroof is crusty. Hey, turn some tunes on. I think the radio still works too. Yeah, no radio. <laughs> Hope I don't kill the engine. If I do, we're jumping it off again, huh? Am I in first gear? That's reverse. That's first. Here we go. <laughs> oh yeah. She's nice, guys. I asked him if I could do a donut out here, but he said, uh, he said, yeah, just go a little easy on my grass. <laughs> I don't know if it will do a donut. Do you think it'll do a donut? Should we try one? Oh <laughs> yeah, it's just gonna slip around, huh? <laughs> yeah, this thing is, uh, 
it's fun it's kind of a sick puppy though <laughs> uh, let's see how reverse works here real quick all we need to do is be able to get it around and move it around the yard i might use this as a daily driver man it's super oh super crusty can't see anything out the back look <laughs> this is the sunroof oh what is that oh that's crusty but let's talk turkey here you had it listed on marketplace for two grand yep which is low i think two grand's low for that car i came out came at you at 1500 he said man look i got a lot of money in the seats dad's got a lot of money dad's got a lot of money in it <laughs> you lose money on a vehicle like every this. time every time i'm gonna lose money on this however 1800 was fair i think so for both of us 1800 that's it thanks man yes sir we're gonna enjoy it <laughs> i'm gonna try to enjoy it uh you follow me home in the raptor sure before we do that though let's go look at the rest of the toys that you yep. got that you've got going on here guys so we got to see some other cool toys we'll save what's under the cover for last this truck we're gonna go see is an international is that right it's a 1939 international kb2 uh bought in south dakota or brought here around I don't know, 25 or 30 years ago does have a title does have the original motor it was just a cool old truck that i got a great deal in it just fits the property real well nice old international kb2 and that's all i know about the truck if anybody else knows anything about these trucks let me know inside crusty had a little fire going in there at one time looks like nothing crazy just interesting man this is back when vehicles were just style they just had style they just don't make stuff like this anymore this sucker is tough as nails and ugly so ugly that it's beautiful now we got a c10 and a mustang gt it's not lx lx coupe lx coupe let's yep. go look at those so this mustang was the mustang that you had when you were in high school got it when i was 15. and it had a four cylinder in it no it was a factory 505 speed car and you survived high school survived high school oh. never wrecked it i was a i was a mild child they're only like uh what the 50 was only rated like 185 horsepower or something 235 i think Ooh. but it was 200 on a good day with a with a good wind behind you yeah. down a hill down a hill <laughs> hooked to a truck yeah but they were still awesome they got a great sound to them so. i i did get beat by a honda odyssey minivan though <laughs> oh man that's sad it was was. Before we do the Mustang, I'm going to have you walk us around the C10. 71 C10. I bought Halloween on eBay. First thing I've ever bought on eBay. Uh, orange is my favorite color. My dad was born in 71. Um, I've lowered the truck since. It's got a Beltec uh, four inch in the front, five inch in the back drop, cool spring. Um, the truck is a factory air truck. Uh, been a service bed its whole life. It was owned by an electrician. Uh, toward the coast of North Carolina. The upholstery is out of it right now. I'm having a hound's tooth and parchment seat redone for it. Uh, dash pad and the visor will be redone. Uh, gonna leave the patina. I pulled the 350 out. Uh, and right now it's got a 305 uh, just to kind of get me going until I can get something else going. But it's a, uh, it's a decent looking little motor. I've got dressed up to look like a uh, like a 60s motor late 50s early 60s motor with the front fill um, those are actually original not repop valve covers um, but it's a, a there's the air box and all for the factory air dash has still got the vents in it I'm gonna have to pull those headers off because the block huggers just aren't gonna clear the the subframe um, it's got us wheels uh, i think they're series 68 wheels um, but that's pretty much it. It's just going to be kind of a cruiser. I drive back and forth to work, uh, to the cruise ends, just kind of something cool to tinker with. Cause I didn't have enough to work on as it is. It's, uh, it's turned around. I haven't really even cleaned it much. It's just the wheels and the lowering. I think have really helped it. I found the U S mail magnet in my shop from the previous owners of the home. <laughs> nice. and I just thought it kind of fit it. Um, yep, with the, done. with the neon orange. It's sharp, man. Now what we got under the cover here? Uh, this is my 89 coupe. 
It's the nicest thing I own, and the car I should be finishing. We put the Scott Rod engine bay panels in. Um, I tried to keep the pollen off of it with this cover. Uh, it's an 89 bright regatta blue car. It's uh, it's got those 98 wheels on it. Those 98 wheels? 99 GT. 99. It's got a Carter's Customs spoiler. It had the side diffuser, the front splitter. Uh, he's a good friend of mine. He was sponsoring me, helping me out through the autocross season. Uh, I was in his booth at Mustang Week. Uh, but the car has an 03, 04 Cobra IRS subframe connectors, Tremec TKX trans, a 2012 Coyote uh, F-150 motor with a Gen 2 bottom end, boss, R cams, valve springs, um, and a Roush Gen 3 2650 blower. Am I going to buy your Mustang and then bring it back over here or we're going to work on it over on my, at my shop? We're going to work on it at the mega shop because <laughs> your shop will be a whole lot nicer than my little 20 by 30. Well, now, this is the ultimate car for somebody about to hit puberty, right? Everybody, uh -huh. everybody yeah. knows that knows. Yes, as the shaker is sitting in the passenger seat. Oh, so the shaker hood, gotcha. What year is this? This is a 76 car with a 77 nose on it. Factory 400 Trans Am, not a Firebird. It's pretty awesome, man. It's a cool car. I bought it from a gentleman up in Ridgeway, Virginia. Uh, owned the car a long time. Got into a little financial trouble. Um, he actually used to drag race this car, and if you ask a few locals, that, they'll know the car. It's got a, a highly desirable Ford 9-inch rear end in it. It was big block for a while. The door panel might hang on you a little. Oh yeah, yeah. I see it there. Hold on. There you go. That's a security device. Yeah. Um, it's still pretty nice inside. Got a factory tack. Yep, factory tech, and it was the radial tune suspension. So, I I I'm not a Trans Am expert, but I believe that means it was the equivalent of the WS6 package. So it was the you know the high performance. Yeah, this was the cream of the crop in yep. the day. Unfortunately, though, it was a factory yellow car. Ugh, nothing yellow. I'm not a yellow fan. The day you see me driving a yellow car, you will know I have lost my mind or I couldn't find a better deal on a, <laughs> on a Ferrari or a, uh, a Viper, right? Or possibly a Corvette. I would, I would uh, consider a yellow Corvette. No banana vet. No banana vet at all. Oh, man. <laughs> now, you're going to sell this critter. I, I am because... Uh, you know, addicts, they start, they say admitting the problem is, you know, the step in the right direction. So I'm going to focus on the C10 and my blue Mustang. You have, do you already have a motor for this? Uh, I do not because I was unsure. I have a 60 LS, yeah. um, in the garage that I've toyed with the idea, but GM has released the new 6.6 .6 gas motor. And being that this car was a factory 6.6, .6, I thought that would be cool. You know, as a car guy, you have so many ideas on what you could do with stuff. I gave $1,300 for the car, uh, did the title transfer, you know, all that. I've got about 1500 bucks. When I saw it, I was just like, you know, no questions asked. You kind of just pick up a good deal when you see one. Yeah. Thank you again for the deal on the Mustang. Yes, sir. I can buy this for 1500 bucks. Correct. You guys decide whether we buy the Bandit or not. Do we buy the bandit and st start stacking up more junk on the farm? Let me know, guys. It's all about life. It's all about having a good time, enjoying yourself. And we can't just move cows around all the time. We've got fun stuff to do, fun projects. So one of the reasons why I bought the Mega Shop or I'm building the Mega Shop is for awesome mechanical projects like the bandit Trans Am. I don't know. Should I buy it? You guys let me know. Thanks for the deal, man. Yes, sir. It. I enjoyed it. Yeah, the uh, Fox body is going home with daddy. Thanks, man. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge, guys. We gotta get Spencer to do the woo. Oh, woo! Take care. Woo! Come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life here and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Woo! Contact. Whoa, whoa. Take it off! Take it off! The starter wouldn't uh, stop turning. That was weird. Yeah, here we go.
thing is just about out of gas. Look at this junkyard dog. What are you doing, junkyard doggy? Somebody smushed your face. Who hit you in the face with the door?